Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back. We're here once again with another Let's Play episode. And guys, this is number 499, which means next episode is going to be the big 5 0 episode, which is going to be a world tour. We're going to go around, check out some of our builds, and see all the cool stuff again. Last world war, not world war, world tour, <laughs> we did was... Uh, 450, right? I'm trying to do them every 50 episodes now. Um, I know we've kind of slowed down with the, the episodes lately. It might not feel like a lot has changed, but uh, actually in the last 50, we've done a lot of stuff in this world. So um, it'll be kind of cool to check everything out again, I think, especially for the new people. And as well, I want to try to get you guys a world download if possible. Uh, right now our world is about one gig in size, so I have to go through MC Edit and, and delete some of the area we've explored. But I'll try to leave all the, the buildings and stuff in the file, and hopefully get it down to like 200 megs or so, so that you guys don't crash the site when you download it. Um, but yeah, today I think we're just going to go around the world, do some building on our old projects, and, and hopefully do a bunch of cleanup, because like, anytime we build something, I always leave remnants behind, like little things, chests, and... Um, garbage and whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to try to clean that up, get the world nice and, and good for you guys when you check it out. But anyways, since last episode, I have rebuilt the cannon. Remember, it blew up at the end. I don't know if it's good now. I did like two test shots and it was fine. What I've done is I've lowered that platform one more block so the item frames aren't popping off anymore. And I've also added rings around the dispensers there. So hopefully when the TNT launches, it it rams into the slabs there and then falls straight down. All right, let's go for, let's try hit that red wool over there maybe. So that's gonna be a corner shot maybe. Let's throw a TNT in there. We're gonna ramp our power way up. Let's go for that. Um, shot delay, I have no idea. Let's just try it out. And hopefully, oh, okay, it worked. Cannon still in, intact? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. So it didn't explode this time. Let's try that one more time. We'll put the TNT... Um, where are we? We'll just do a couple test shots and then we'll get on with things here. Let's try over there instead. Hopefully it'll go more this way. Oh, too far this way. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of range with this cannon, it seems. Like it... Like that hit over there, the other one was like way over there, right? And if we make the same shot again, I don't know if it's going to bury much. Oh, why did it go over there? I thought I threw it in the corner. Okay, there we go. Oh, that hit the... I bet you that hit some uh, silverfish. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Anyways... Uh, what we're going to do first off here, I have gathered some stuff, guys. Let's see. Over here, I've prepared some resources, a bunch of glass, some dark oak. And we're going to use those resources to work on one of our oldest projects in the world here that I get hounded on the most of anything, I think. <laughs> we're going to go to the library today, guys. Uh, I know we won't be able to finish it. We're just going to spend a few minutes here. I'll do most of the building off camera. But I want it to change. I don't want you guys to get the world downloaded and it's like, hey, this is the exact same as last time, you know. Uh, we might have worked on it since last time. I can't remember. But for sure, I want to try to get, like, a roof on top of it today, if we can, over this main area. Uh, to be fair, though, guys, this is, like, the biggest structure I've ever built in Minecraft, actually. Now that I think of it. Like, if you look at the man cave, everything's, like, six blocks tall at most. And it's just a bunch of little things compiled together. This is like one big giant structure, and I'm not really good at building those, um, as you can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens with it here today. Um, I have decided a couple things with it. Like, I was looking at it here, trying to figure out what to do. And I think we're going to put a glass roof on it so that it stays bright uh, inside during the day. And also, I'm going to try and include another block type in the build here. Because right now, it's like all wood. You can't hardly tell the difference between those colors, actually, because of the lighting glitch. Right? Uh, maybe a little bit, actually. 
Um, yeah, we're going to try mix in some orange clay in this build, because right now it's like all wood, and there's not a lot of color besides like the bookshelves and, and this middle area here. So we tried a bunch of different clay colors uh, when we were doing the windows. We tried like red and, and green. Uh, usually when I do clay in Minecraft, I go for red or blue. Uh, those are my two preferred. But lately I have found out orange clay is really good with dark oak and like regular oak and spruce. It's a really good uh, mix when you have these together. So I'm going to change out the windows to orange clay. And that way we have a little bit more variation in the build here. That's impossible. It can't be done. I'm telling you. There's no way, guys. Can you jump four blocks in Minecraft? I don't know, actually. I've never, like, gotten good at parkour. I can't make this jump, though. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I don't know. I know I can if I do that. <laughs> That's kind of cheating. That's trying to save an ender pearl, you know. They're so valuable. Oh, I still slipped off. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get up here. Um, Man, I get distracted easy. Okay, we're going to go up here. We're going to see a comparison of orange and and just oak. So that's, that's the new window. That's the old one. I think this looks a lot better, right? So we're going to change out those ones as well. And let's add a ring of slabs on top of here. And probably make lots of little changes around this building to add a bit of variation to it. One of my design flaws with this, when you... The center of the building's here, right? And if you walk in, usually when you walk into a building, you want to see a nice open view of the building. And we're going to walk in right into a wall, basically. <laughs> so we might put like two doors on it. Like one here, one over there. I'm not sure yet, though. All right, let's put a thing of oak around this. All right, good stuff. I like that. All right, this is it, guys. I, I hate working on roofs, but we, I've put it off too long now. This is my plan. We're going to try to do like a dome ceiling made out of glass. So it's going to go like whoop, and then back down to the other side. And we're going to try connect that to a wood beam that runs along here. It's going to be like just a long cylinder that runs down the building here. It's going to be pretty simple. Because like I said, I don't I don't really like making roofs. I'm not good at it. don't really know what to do. Let's, let's connect it to this log here. So this is going to run down the length of the building. And I matched up where it connects to. Um, it's actually probably easier just to go on top of it. Here, let's go on top. I think it should connect to that post over there. Let's just make sure. Okay, yeah, here we are. So now if we go down here and connect this up, that should be our dome uh, brace or whatever. So for this entire distance here, it's going to be like a cylinder dome uh, that runs along the building is the plan. Woohoo! Okay, so now we got to, like, create the dome. I'm going to try... Let's try to come out here and kind of line it up with the window here, I guess. And let's grab some garbage blocks that we can delete. Let's see. Let's go up. Like so. Now we'll start curving it a bit more. We'll go two. And let's go up here. And we'll go another two. And then probably... Yeah, we can do the center now, I think. So then we'll go three or five or something. I guess three. And then it'll start going down. Let's just check out that shape, see what it looks like. All right, run over here. Can't really tell. Let's go to the middle of the building. I think that'll work, right? So that'll connect to the other side. All right, guys, so this is going to be really simple. Like I said, uh, basically, I copied that curve or that wooden arch over here to the other side, connected it to that post, and then added some wood slabs and stairs and stuff here just to uh, add a bit of variation to it. Also kind of makes it look like the glass is being supported by something. And now we just got to fill this all in nice and simple. And since it's a glass roof, it's going to let a lot of light in down below, and hopefully the building will look 
uh, pretty good. We'll have to add torches everywhere. Ah, yeah. So check it out. That is a pretty big chunk of the roof finish, just like that. Kind of cheesed it a little bit, but I don't think it looks too bad, right? It'll be good. Now these uh, other sections, like over here, will do something different. Like these side areas, they still need a roof too. Um, I don't want to do the same exact same thing there. Exact same thing, same there? Is that what I said? Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so let's try to connect this open area to the this portion too. I just will just go up with this. See how that goes. Up over here. Boop, 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 boop. And I think, oops. I think what we'll do is extend the window up a little bit too. Let's do it like this. Uh, so that'll come over. And just kind of fill this all in. All right, whoops. Okay, that goes there. Let's punch this out, that, and that. And then we'll fill that in with glass too. All right, so I think that wall is all finished up. Uh, only thing that might change is the villager head there. A lot of you guys don't like the librarian villager, I know. <laughs> uh, I have not figured out what to put there instead, though, so it's it's going to stay there for, for now anyways, uh, until I think of something else. Uh, one thing, though, that I've kind of realized is we have to do something about these middle pillars or whatever, so we should probably extend them to the roof as well. Because right now they're just, like, chopped off and it doesn't look quite right. So let's... Uh, Let's hop up on these and try to do something with them. Uh, my plan is to, like, put some bookshelves in here, too. All right, so this will go up to the glass. Oh, I am stuck here. Okay, move over. Yeah, that goes up there. And like this. All right, and then how do we do this? Let's. I want to replace these with uh, oak just for a little bit more color. Boop, boop. They're just kind of there for decoration and to, to stop mobs from spawning, too. And then I think we'll hook uh, some bookshelves in between here. And make it go all the way up to the top, probably. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right, does it? It, it looks weird, just like the glass sitting on top of it to me. What do we do? What do we do? And the bookshelves are a little bit weird, too. Especially on this side, because it's not 3D. So, I'm thinking we also add arches from this side to the other side. Maybe? We'll try it out. Alright, everybody. So, I don't want to spend the whole episode building here at the library. We'll try to do some other stuff. Even though I got nothing planned right now. <laughs> uh, but I'll just show you the, the final results of the building here. I did a little bit more. So, we got the arches. I think that looks a lot better now. Uh, and that is actually the very center of the building, so it kind of works out. It's like 10 blocks of glass on that side and 10 blocks on that side. So that's cool. And then just to break the break up the bookshelves a bit more, I added some trap doors here. Um, tried to make it look like it connects with the wooden stairs and stuff up there. And then I also uh, worked uh, at fiddling around with this area. So we did like an orange skylight. Which I think looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Flower pots for decoration and stuff. Um, connected all these beams up to this part here. And I think that should be good for now. I think that's all we're going to do on the library for today. So we still got this big, big area here to work out. And we're not going to extend that roof dome area anymore. We'll probably change this up and turn into a semicircle or something. I don't know exactly what we're doing. We might even put the doors like over here to get into the building. I'm not sure yet, but that's it for today. So let's go do some other stuff here. It's time for some cleanup. We're just going to wander the world and look for anything that needs to be done here. Uh, one thing, for example, we should move the comments of the day to the library. If you don't know, like it takes a lot of time to go to the library from the man cave here, like a minute or two. <laughs> so at the end of every episode, I don't actually put the comments in the library. I just leave them in these chests, which are totally filled up right now. So I'm going to move all these to the library, get them in the right place, in case you guys want to check them out. Yeah, so over here in the library is where we actually archive our comments of the day, keep them in long-term storage. It's split one chest every 10 episodes. So like 466 would go over here into the 460s. 
64, 64. And then I try to organize them in, in the proper order, too. Unfortunately, a while ago, one of there was a bug that deleted a lot of our books, like the common inside. So <laughs> it's only going to be for like the last 100 episodes or so, I think. All right. This set of chests here, this little workstation, has been here since we built the, the chorus farm. I still haven't moved it, haven't cleaned it up. Because uh, every time, every so often, like I'll be in this area and it's like, okay, what's in these chests? And then, oh, I might need some stone or some dirt at that time, and I'll take a another thing out. And slowly, little by little, they've been emptying. But it's it's time. Let's just totally do it now. Etho, you spent so long building the nexus and you never use it. What's what's wrong with you? Why did you do it? Aha! I actually do use it, guys, just not on camera usually. But this is a perfect opportunity since we're in cleanup mode. This is one of the most wonderful features of the Nexus. It automatically sorts stuff. So I can just drop off all this garbage, and it will go into the proper chest. All right, this has been here since we built the smelter. Not anymore. You know, I think today is the day, guys. This wall has been with us for like 200 episodes. Hasn't been used in like 200 episodes. I think it served its purpose, finally. We're going to tear it down. I know, I know. It, it feels, feels weird tearing it down because it's been with us for so long. I've seen so many comments. It's like, is he ever going to tear that down? <laughs> And I, I didn't want to do it because of, because of them. I kind of I kind of like to see you guys suffer with them, but it's time. I haven't seen one of those comments in a long time. You guys have like grown to accept it, so it's not as fun anymore. So let's let's take it down. Oh boy. Okay, there's a lot of stuff actually, guys. <laughs> a lot more than I realized. We're slowly getting our main area cleaned up here, but I haven't even left uh, like our main world here. All our little side projects we've done. Um, yeah, it's it's getting there at least. Something happened today, guys. Something wonderful just happened to me. Let me tell you about it. So earlier today. I had to knock some snow off of a roof, right? And I was like, okay, what do I use? What do I use? I didn't need I didn't need to do much, just a little bit. So it's like, okay, there's a broom next to me. That will probably work. I picked it up. I shook it on the ground a couple times to knock the dirt out of it, you know. And sure enough, while looking up at what I was doing, there was no dirt falling out or anything. But sure enough, there was like one giant piece of sawdust still in the broom. It fell out went right in my eye <laughs> and it, you know sometimes you get something in your eye it's like oh oh man I gotta get this thing out but other times it's like ah! <laughs> it hurts so bad today it hurts so bad I just like stopped what I was doing and ran inside crying out of one eye and after like five minutes or so finally the piece of wood got so soggy from the tears it, it didn't hurt as bad anymore, but it took, I just finally got it out. It's been like eight hours in my eye. I couldn't get it out as much as I tried before. So I'm feeling so much better right now. I'm so happy. It's finally gone. It's left me. Oh, man. This is kind of fun because I don't know what I'm going to find either. And I just realized I saw there's a chest at the windmill there <laughs> from when we built it. I don't know what's inside. It's kind of like opening a present right now. We got to do it quick. Okay, some flowers, some dirt. Ah, nothing too exciting, I guess. I was hoping for like a, a couple stacks of redstone, but that rarely happens. Guys, I just found a chest at the old ice tray machine here. Like, this is from so, so long ago. What's inside? Is there redstone? Like, this is a redstone build. There might be some... Ah, oh, this is garbage. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh well. And that got me wondering, what's at the ice cube over here? There's actually two double chests. Oh, empty, okay, and just a little bit of garbage. Okay, nothing too exciting.
portal glitch. Got to clean it up. How much obsidian is here? Probably... Eh, probably less than a stat, actually. Not too bad. All right, everybody. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up the episode here for today. We did get some building done, though, and uh, got it relatively cleaned up. There's still, I know, a couple chests, like at the witch farm and like at the guardian farm, and there's probably a, a bunch I'm not thinking of, too, <laughs> that could be moved and some stuff that could be cleaned up. But for the most part, we, we got quite a bit done today. Um, so we're going to check out our comment of the day. This one's actually kind of interesting, I thought says, hey, Etho, are you still into Hearthstone? If so, you have. how have you enjoyed the new dungeon runs? Ooh. If you guys don't know, I actually uploaded two Hearthstone videos in the past, quite a while ago, actually. Uh, I've been playing since beta, I think like three months before the official release. Pause and Pause actually hooked me up with the, the beta key a long, long time ago. Um, and I've been playing it like off and on ever since, usually... Like, not too, too much, but I'll, I'll play a game here and there, or do an arena run every now and then. Um, I had a pretty good card collection in Hearthstone, actually. I've been been doing, like, a free-to-play account only. And up until, I think it was Whisper of the Gods, I kind of stopped playing the game. <laughs> uh, for, uh, like, uh, six to nine months or something, or three expansions I think I kind of missed out on. Because it's like... Hey, draw Cthulhu and you win the game. I thought that was really stupid, so I kind of lost interest at that point. Um, but I, I kind of got back into it during the Frozen Th Throne, and also I have tried out the dungeon runs. Um, I did two dungeon runs. They were really easy up until, like, the final level. I did finish both of them, though. But uh, they don't give you any rewards, right? Or is there some way to get rewards out of it? I I don't know. I, I don't think I'll play any more of them because, like... What's the point? <laughs> They're kind of fun, but, uh, you know, I need cards, too. Got to get my card collection up. So I thought that was kind of weird. You don't get anything from them. Um, but, yeah, I still like the game. Every now and then, I like to play it. Uh-huh. Anyways, thank you for the question. Thank you guys for watching the episode, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.